want to go through a little bit with you the health care reform uh, bill, the uh, Patient Protection and uh, Accountable Care Act, which we all know about and we've heard about. And we really believe that the act can do some great things for minority populations as well as the country, uh, particularly uh, in East Orange. We know that uh, in the city of New Jersey, 41 percent uh, minority population, and certainly in Essex County, uh, a very high percentage of minority patients that we have to take care of and uh, that we're delighted to be a part of. Why do we need health care reform? Well, I think uh, it's pretty obvious a lot of people don't have insurance. What may not be as obvious is that the health care disparities continue, and they tend to be, if anything, worsening, uh, so that it's very important that health care disparities are addressed in the health care reform legislation, and they are. Uh, health plans don't do what they should. Fragmentation of health care, uh, it continues, the costs continue to go up. So we really need the health care uh, uh, reform. And what about disparities? Many of you know about these things. You've heard it uh, forever. But these are just some of the things in New Jersey that I thought were quite striking. Uh, prostate cancer, cervical cancer. Hispanics have a lot of problems with asthma. Uh, African Americans four times more likely uh, to be admitted to hospitalized for asthma. Uh, babies over in uh, over in Newark with lead levels that are very high. HIV/AIDS is really uh, abysmal. The other thing that's important, and I'm going to talk about a little bit, is diabetes. Diabetes is really something that's going to really affect uh, the country and the world uh, in the coming years. And I certainly uh, know want you to know that. The prevalence of diabetes in minorities is so high that it really is going to be a striking thing when things play out and by 2050 uh, it's estimated that there will be uh, uh, 150 million diabetic patients. Now if 10 percent of those are African American uh, and, and higher percentages in Hispanics, it's going to be a problem. Uh, you can see now that the U.S. population, uh, we have about 23 million that are diagnosed. Uh, 23 million overall, 5.9 million don't know they have diabetes, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, a high percentage, about 17 million. But what it really comes down to is uh, there's a high prevalence within African Americans, and uh, certainly we, we really have to deal with that. In addition to diabetes, the other big problem we have is obesity. I really want you to understand how this impacts people's lives, particularly minority people, African American women are between 60 and 70 percent of African American women uh, have either overweight or obesity. And what does that do to you? Well, if you look at it, obesity confers a 50 to 100 percent increased risk for premature death. And even if you're at, at age 50, even if you're overweight rather than obese uh, at midlife, you still have a 20 to 40 percent higher risk of death than someone who's at a normal rate. Now, if we take that over to African Americans and minorities, who are at the highest prevalence for obesity, you can see that we have to correct this. And the health care reform legislation uh, definitely helps do that. If you look at diabetes and obesity over the years, our country is becoming increasingly obese and increasingly diabetic. Uh, diabetes follows obesity like a shadow almost. Wherever you have one, it won't be long before you'll have the other. And we can see that by 2008, 26% of the population in America is uh, obese, not overweight, but obese. Even a higher percentage is overweight. And then diabetes, again, 9% uh, overall, but in minorities it's even higher. We're, we're more like 10, 12% uh, of minority people have uh, diabetes. Why is it important? Well, because going forward, the population is going to become continually more diverse. And by 2050, uh, there will be a very high percentage of minorities. If we don't fix this problem right now through health care legislation, uh, we, we, we will really be a lot worse off than we already are. You can see that uh, uh, La uh, Latinos will just about double by 2050. African Americans pretty much the same. But uh, majority populations will actually tail off uh, as we go forward. So the goals then of health care reform are pretty clear, and that is we, have, we need better coverage for more people, and we need to improve uh, access. We have to control costs, but if we do these things, we'll ameliorate health care disparities, uh, and that will really go a long way towards uh, helping the, the nation and the country.